Uh, welcome back to our Dex Question 2 playthrough. Uh, basically, last episode, we caught the Lugia and the Ho-Ho. -Ho. And, as you can see, we are back in the Dark Cave. I think it was called. Let me make sure. Yeah, Dark Cave. And we need to catch the Wobbuffet and the Dunspar, which are deep inside the cave. Other than that, nothing exciting happened inside the cave. Um, but we are ready to move on to Route 27? 20... Okay, 27, yep. Which, uh, we need... Wait, we have to have Waterfall? Oh, and deep inside the cave, <clears throat> you get the, uh, Tyrogue. Who will be actually joining the team. So, as we speed up through this area, um, yeah, this was going to be a two-parter, but I decided to put routes, uh, 27, 26, and the Victory Road, all in one episode. Uh, basically, we're just going through. Uh, getting our teams ready for the Elite Four. Trying to catch... Uh, some more Pokemon, because we still need 41 more Pokemon for our overall decks. Um, but yeah, so... Let's talk about our teams right now. Each team will have a Water Type, a Electric Type, uh... A grass type. Actually, wrote down the teams. Um. So, Fialligator will have the Fialligator or Electro. Uh, we'll have a team member come back that we got in episode two. Our Jumpleaf, Umbreon, and Pidgeot. That would be our f main team for the Elite Four. So, no fire type, but hopefully we don't have a problem with that. Uh, t let's go with uh, Typhlosion. Uh, we'll have the Typhlosion, the Espeon, the Cragsire, uh, Crobat, Ampharos, and a new, very new party member will be joining their team. Meganium's team will be Meganium, Noctowl, Magmar, Polyswine, and two new team members. So that would be our teams that we'll be using. Um, the <clears throat> Elite Four consists of a uh, let me make sure I get this right. Because they always change it. Leaf 4 for Gen 2. Okay, a Psychic type. So any Bug type, Dark type, and Ghost type will easily be used. And the second type, Dairy typings are Flying, Grass, Water, and Ice. So almost the... I'm almost saying the same exact team as um, Lorelei from the Ice Gym Gen 1, but it's not. Uh, then we have a Poison type user. Uh, go, I'll. Let me put this this way. I'll come back to the Elite Four. Let me explain what I'm doing. I'm actually uh, fishing. There's a water type Pokemon that's right here. That needs to be caught. That will probably be joining our team. But uh, anyway, back to the Elite Four. Uh, basically, our uh, the poison type will be using two flying combos with poison and two bugs and poison. 
Uh, basically, if I can bring electric types, ground types, and fire types. Uh, moving on to the fighting. They changed him this time. Uh, he'll have Hitmo Lee, Hitmo Chan, Hitmo Top, an Onyx, and a Machamp. They didn't really go all out with the uh, Gen 2 teams this time. And then our last um, Elite Four member is all dark, supposedly. But I'm looking at her team. She could be because they're dark and poison. So a dark, dark flying, dark fire, a poison grass, and a poison ghost. Sorry, I'm looking at the sprite, and it looks exactly like uh, Gengar, or uh, Gligor. But uh, anyway, I wouldn't mind adding a shelter to my team. Having a uh, water ice. Honestly, don't know why I caught it, because it's a Gen 1 Pokemon, but we can add it. Wait, shelter is just water? Hold on, let me look Cloyster. Cloyster is water ice. Shelter is just water. Hm. Learn something new. So, uh, anyway, we are making our way up, uh, route 27. Since, uh, we just got all the eight badges. And it's a good place to uh, grind. It says that uh, all these Pokemon trainers will be looking your way. Uh, Growlithe. Yeah, easily taken out. So I believe I grind up to level... 55? Hold on, let me make sure. Because I always go by the champion. So uh, anyway, as you can see, our f fishing uh, produced uh, this uh, Chinchow, who is a water electric. Perfect combination to be added to our team, which uh, we will be adding him to our team anyway. A uh, decent combination, but first we have to get him to evolve. So, let's see here. I'm not sure where Typhlosion's team is, but we are still on the Route 26 now. So we should have a straight path to the Victory Road. Uh, as of right now, there should be no evolutions as of right now. And we already talked about the Elite Four members. Uh, the Champion, on the other hand, may cause us a little bit of an issue. Uh, I believe it, it will be Lance. Because I'm looking at this, it, it, type in Champions, it is either Lance or Red. So. Eh, we'll just not have some fun with it. Oh yeah, by the way, we still need to catch a, uh, a queer fish. But that's off of Route... 33? Hold on. Nope, uh, Route 32. I was close. Right before Union Cave. But, I'm pretty sure that's gonna be in the... Uh, sped up episode. Um... Like I said, this episode will be up from Newbark to Victory Road. Clear out Victory Road. And then... What else? I think we take on Soul and Heart. One last time. Actually... 
Yeah, this should be one last time before the Elite Four. So, uh, anyway. Probably could have sped this up a little bit faster. Because mainly this route is grinding right now. But uh, the level that I'm looking at is level 50 is the highest the Elite Four goes to right now. Which I'm okay with. At least it's not like level 60. I think... What? I think it's uh, Gen 4 or Gen... Could be Gen 5. I don't remember Gen 5 that much. Um, uses like really high level Pokemon. Let's see, I can look at Gen 5 right now. If I actually clicked on the right image. Gen 5. Let's see, Gen 5's highest is... Uh, this one? Yeah, 59 is the highest in Gen 5. And that's if you're playing the uh, Black and White 2. So, Seeking, we can easily take out Pikachu. Mm. If I don't have a ground type move, I can't really take it out. Also, I think one of my Pokemon is paralyzed or poisoned. Yep, uh, Meganium is. So I'm thinking that there is a a healing area up here before we get to the uh, Victory Road. And also, this is the first time I've seen a Blastoise. I mean, seriously? Well, they have like 250 Pokemon, I think, in this or out, or game. So. They can't all be winners. Actually, it's, I think it's like 150 or 251 or 252. And two of them don't count. Okay, 251. And two don't count. So 249 Pokemon. Because they are mythical Pokemon, and uh, you can't get in the game, legitly. Well, not in this game anymore. I think, wasn't the only way to get Celebi was the Pokemon event? Let's see, Pokemon event for Celebi was... Oh, it just says event. Oh well, uh, let's go to events. Apparently you can't get him at all? In this game? Wait, that makes no sense. Probably have to Google it, because uh, Bulbapedia is not giving me the answer. In game events. Oh, here we go. Uh, it looks like. Yeah, you can only get in Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald, Fire Red, and Leaf Green. There's no Soul Silver or Heart Gold. A lot of other uh, events. Oh, well. And then Mew was only in Emerald. I don't think you can get it the event in the event Mew in this game 
think the last time you get Mew was uh, Emerald before they did the uh, patch or the uh, free mythical Pokemon of a month. I wish I could see like every uh, event Pokemon. Pokemon. Here we go. Event Pokemon. Nope. I saw what I wanted. Yep. Okay, so Gen one, uh, 2. Actually, Gen 1 was a Nintendo event. Uh, Gen 2, Mew and Celebi were both events. Gen 3. Mew, Lugia, Ho-Ho, Celebi, Jirachi, and Deoxys. Uh, generation 4, here we go. Oh, it was a giveaway. Okay. Then you got a spiked deer Pikachu. I'm sorry, uh, that I'm just talking about event Pokemon for the decks. But, uh, as you can see, we still have a long way to go and nothing actually happens on route. Um... 26, 27. Wait. Yeah, 27 is after New Bark. 26 is up to Victory Road. Okay. Yeah, apparently, we have the Gyarados. Wait. I don't think we're using the Gyarados. Yeah, we're not using the Gyarados in our uh, final teams. Also, this was supposed to be a two-part episode. Decided to squish it all into one. And uh, fast forward it. The item is Max Elixir, which comes in handy. I have to say, Elixirs and Ethers come in handy. But uh, as you can see, we have to make our way all the way around this little area again just to pick up this item the reason I say this was a two-part episode is because Senator Typhrosion's line has been frozen for about eh, a minute or so so we are finally at the gates of Victory Road and while we're here there's no trainers inside why because um Soul slash heart have already completed all the trainers. So basically, we are grinding slash trying to get through it as fast as possible. And picking up some TMs because I know you can get Dark Pulse in here. Or some sub kind of dark type move. Because I know it's like behind uh, rock smash walls. Let's see, found a max revive. Ooh, that come in handy. So yeah, I uh, like I said at the end of uh, Dex Quest uh, Gen One. Once I get through all eight gens, as of right now, all eight. I don't know if they're coming out with 9 or not. But uh, once I get through all there, I will be starting a, a Nuzlocke project. I don't know what type of Nuzlocke, I just know I'll be starting one. I'm thinking going to go back and doing like Emerald. Or like uh, some of the other Pokemon games that are... Not in the main series. Like a uh, old school crystal. Uh, what else was there? There was the other black and white too. 
I play one of them. I'm not sure who I wish one I picked. Um, what else is there? Emerald for Gen 2. Crystal for Gen... No. Emerald is Gen 3. Gen 4 is Chris... No. Gen 2 is Crystal. Gen 3 is Emerald. Gen 4 didn't have any... Uh, well, Platinum, but... I did something different for uh, Gen 4. Um... Ooh, Earthquake. Finally. And we have to restart our... Uh... Heart gold because of technical difficulties. Uh, Gen 4 had the platinum, but I'll be doing something different with that one. Gen 5 had the black, white, black and white 2, which I'll be doing something different with those two. Gen 6 hasn't really been out long enough to actually do anything. Uh, Gen 7 had the uh, Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Hey, I obtained a Max Ether. And there it is, Dark Pulse is the TM. And we are ready to take on the Soul slash Heart, whatever you want to call him. And now he's going to explain to us that he took out all the uh, people on Victory Road. Because apparently they were easy. Yeah, but I would have liked to battle them. It would have been fun. Uh, Gen 7? No, Gen 8. Hasn't been out yet, but they did something new with the DLC. So, a Sneasel versus Umbreon. I have the speed. As long as he doesn't... No. He has the speed. Sneezer has won a uh, speedy SOB. Not gonna lie. But if I have the type advantage... He also has the speed with the quick attack too, so... Let's see. Fighting and bug against like dark and ice. And he has the Fialligator over there. Um, Magnemite. Yeah, I don't have a fire type. And I'm pretty sure he has Magnet. Is it Magnemite that does it? No, he doesn't have a uh, Levitate. So I could have hit him with an Earth type move, a ground type. Uh,. Hunter, we can easily take out with a bite or a crunch. Magnemite is going to be a problem unless I can knock him out with the uh, rollouts. But something tells me by the time I get to the third one, I'm going to get uh, paralyzed. Come on, one more. Yep, knocked it out. How many times can Rollout actually hit? I want to say at least 3 to 5, but I'm not sure. Uh, who's his next Pokemon? A Meganium. Wing Attack. I should have looked for the Aerial Ace, but I'm thinking it's over in Kanto. And we had got a tater or so we got like two episodes ago is finally evolving into Yurserang. Though we could have caught a Yurserang in this area, but wouldn't have been fair. Uh, Meganium is using Synthesis, which heals it up. Petal Dance. Shouldn't be that effective. Come on, knock it out. Nope, it probably lived on 1 HP. Hate it when that does that. So, uh, over in... Typhlosion's area, we finally beat, uh, Heart, our soul. So we need to heal up. And I'm pretty sure he's going to stay frozen after this. So we can take on the Elite Four and all three. At a time. 
But first, uh, we need to get our team ready. So I was thinking of taking a Mantine, but Cracksire is already water ground, so. So I am officially starting to organize my box. So I know who I can take and who I'm not going to take. Pretty sure that's my, how what my team looks like, except for Dawn Fan. I don't think I use. Nope, we are bringing the bug fighting type Heracross, which will be helpful in the psychic type. Cracksire will help us in the poison type. So, yeah, I'm going to stop here on Typhlosion's line. And we finally got to Soul or Heart in Meganiums, and we just beat him in Typhlosion's, or Fail Alligators. So, I believe... Meganium is the only one that needs to be caught up. Oh yeah, I also tried to explore this area. Because, you know, you have that grassy area. Or the flowery area. You should have been able to explore that area. Oh well. Let's see, a hunter versus a magmar. Just keep using flame attacks. Or fire attacks, not flame. So we need to get our team ready for the Elite Four on Fialligators now. So as you can see, we need to deposit the Gyarados. And like I said earlier, we're bringing back a team member that we got in episode Two or three. I want to say two. Come on. You know you want to bring him. Actually, I already know where do I bring him. But anyway, uh, over in Meganium, a Sneasel versus um, Magmar. We have the type advantage. So, come on. Yeah, it took me a long time to think about this. But he's gonna need some more bug type moves. But I also have Umbreon for. No, I need him for the psychic and the fight or um uh dark type gym or elite four. But uh anyway. Th I believe that's our team for Typhlo or Fialligator's team. Because we have at least Seven, eight different typings. Bug, dark, flying, fighting. No, no fighting. Uh, electric, flying, normal. I think that's gonna be it. So, I'm going to let the rest of this episode play out. And next time, we'll take on the Elite Four. So, I'll see you guys later.